Hello and welcome back to Sweet Upload. In this video we will discuss the key points, tips, and tricks to make perfect Italian buttercream. This meringue based icing is a common filling and coating on cakes and cupcakes. It can also be used as a filling in French macarons. Today we'll start with our demonstration on how to make the product, but stay tuned for more in-depth discussion on why the small details matter, coming up right after the demonstration. Let's have a look at our ingredients. We have water, sugar, cream of tartar, egg whites, a second measurement of sugar, soft butter, and vanilla extract. First, place the water and large measurement of sugar into a saucepan, preferably one with a lip. Stir the mixture to hydrate the sugar. Turn the stove to high heat. If using a gas stove, turn to the highest setting where the flames will not extend up the sides of the pot. After all the sugar has been hydrated, no further stirring is needed. Allow the mixture to come to a boil. As the sugar continues to cook, periodically clean the sides of the pot with a wet paper towel to deter the sugar from crystallizing. If using a candy thermometer, you can continuously monitor the temperature. Today we're using an infrared thermometer, so we'll need to check the temperature manually. Remember, it is best not to use a probe thermometer that will agitate the sugar and possibly cause crystallization. Just as the sugar solution is about to reach the desired temperature of 240 degrees Fahrenheit, add the pinch of cream of tartar to the egg whites and begin to whip. As the egg whites begin to reach soft peak stage, add the small measurement of sugar into the whipping whites. This granulated sugar will help strengthen the air cells before adding the hot sugar syrup. Slowly pour the sugar down the side of the bowl into the whipping egg whites. This must be done in a very slow steady stream to ensure good air cell formation in the egg whites. Take caution not to pour the sugar onto the whip as this could cause crystallization. Patience is very important when adding sugar to the whipping egg whites. Do not rush the process. Once all the sugar has been added, continue to whip the meringue to cool. Depending on the size of the mixer, this could take 15 to 20 minutes. It is necessary to completely cool the meringue before adding the butter to prevent the fat from melting and collapsing the meringue. Once again, patience is absolutely key. Once the meringue has whipped to cool, decrease the mixer speed and add the vanilla extract. If going for a bright white color, a clear vanilla may be used. Next, begin to add the soft butter in small amounts, slowly feeding it into the whipping meringue. This will allow it to incorporate evenly and also assist in keeping the icing a white color. As we complete the addition of butter, continue to whip the icing until smooth and spreadable. If the icing looks slightly curdled, it is due to being too cold. You can continue to whip to warm or remove a small amount, heat and melt and add back to the icing to equalize the temperature. On the other end, it may appear to be too soft or soupy. Placing ice water under the whipping icing will quickly equalize the temperature and bring the icing to a smooth spreadable consistency. The icing is now ready for application. Let's do a quick review of the key points. First, when making the meringue, all ingredients and utensils must be clean and fat free. Any trace amounts of fat can cause the egg white to not whip to full volume. When separating several egg whites for a recipe, use a three bowl technique. Separate a couple of eggs, then pour the egg whites into the third bowl. 
This way, if an egg yolk happens to break, the entire batch of egg whites is not contaminated. A small amount of mild acid is often added to the egg whites to assist with gaining more volume in the meringue. Here's some key points to remember when cooking sugar for Italian meringue. First, sugar cooking is dangerous because of the nature of the hot sugar syrup to stick to skin and possibly cause serious injury. It is advised to have an ice bath close by in case of emergency. Remember, when the sugar water solution comes to a boil, stirring should be avoided to deter crystallization. Continue to cook sugar to desired temperature depending on the application. For Italian meringue, we'll cook the sugar to 240 degrees Fahrenheit or 118 degrees Celsius, also known as the softball stage. Cooking sugar to a slightly higher temperature, up to 248 degrees Fahrenheit, will result in a stiffer meringue. This can be done in warmer climates to create a more stable icing. Lastly, let's recap the entire procedure for the icing. Cook the sugar and water to 240 degrees Fahrenheit, periodically cleaning the sides of the pot to deter crystallization. Whip egg whites and cream of tartar to soft peak. Adding a few pinches of granulated sugar at this stage will help strengthen air cells. While continuing to whip, pour the hot sugar syrup down the sides of the bowl in a slow, steady stream. Continue to whip to cool. This could take 15 to 20 minutes depending on the size of the bowl. Finally, slowly feed the butter into the whipping meringue. Continue to whip to a smooth, spreadable consistency. And there you have it, the key points to Italian meringue buttercream. If you have any questions about this method or any others, drop a comment below. And if you found the video informative, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more baking and pastry tutorials. Thanks for watching everyone. Be well, be safe, and I'll see you again for another sweet upload.